what Ann had said this, about uh, no, no, about this, no, no. This is about you. This about, lady about is so roses. blessed. Uh, so blessed. Tell them what happened to man. Wait a minute. I get. I'm going to do a follow up on Ann. Okay. Brown. Sorry. Um, she was talking about smelling roses. Well, I got set up kind of like Sandy. I walked in the office one day, and Sandy said, I got a secret to tell you, but before you do that, I want you to walk into Father Rookie's office and say hi to him, and then I'll tell you what I need to tell you. And I think it was in March of this year. Is that when it was? I, I got a, yeah. It was in March, because I don't know. Okay. And so, anyway, I walked to the threshold of his office. Now, I've got sinus problems that, you know, I can't smell a thing. And I got to the threshold of his office, and there was this overwhelming smell of roses. I couldn't believe it. And I walked into the office. It was more potent than ever, walking up to him, okay? And I said, what is this, you know? And he said, well, I woke up this morning, went into the kitchen, and it's, is it the friary? Priory. Mm. Huh? Priory. In the Priory? Yeah. And he said I was having coffee, and then he said, was it Father Guyman that came in? Father Michael Guyman. Father Michael Guyman? He's their boss. His boss came in, poured himself a no, cup of coffee. No believer. <laughs> and there wasn't a flower in the kitchen area, and he's looking all over, and he's saying, where are the flowers? Where are the flowers? <laughs> and as Father uh. says, he doesn't get it. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. It's as kind as I'm going to be. And so, anyway, as the day went on, he's got you know windows here and he's got windows here. So two windows in the office are just immense. And as the day wore on, the sun came in. This became more potent and potent as you walked into the door. It never left his office or drifted out into our area. That night, he had to attend a wake, okay? So he's waiting in line to, you know, give his respects. And people are saying, where are the roses? Where are the roses? This smell followed him the entire day. And I don't know did, what happened after that. Okay? And it just went on for what, at least 18 hours or so? Something in that regard. So it's just, just fantastic. So Blessed Virgin is with him. That's her flower. So she's traveling with him. And now she's, she's in the office and every now and again, she gives us a little touch, as he says. That's, okay. I, I would say that uh, fragrance came from our holy helpers in that office. Mm -hmm. It was so strong because you have all these beautiful people there, beginning with Betty. And, um, yeah, so that's where I blame it. I'm sinner. What's the purpose that we're there? You know, way back, I, her predecessor, Jim, uh, he uh, would come to the office sometimes. And, <laughs> be overcome with that fragrance also. He yeah. spent a lot of his time laying out in the spirit, right? He was, he was right around the corner of <laughs> mine, you know, down on the second floor. Mm -hmm. those days, you know? Okay. And yeah. Betty brought us up to this beautiful place. Well, thank you again for that. It was such a, such a uh, wonderful uh, office we have there. They put the right people into place. They really do. Well, you know, Father, you also have the gift of one-liners. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, you're, you, you, kind of, you know, you're just like any young one used to be. Uh -huh. One-liners. All the time with the jokes. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. But it makes a lot of people happy. It really does. Uh, <laughs> my, one of my pet liners is, laughter is the best you mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. keep laughing. I'm laughing. I'm just going to have to share this. I usually oh, don't. I'm not, I'm not a very public person. Jump in a pool, Tom. But I'm uh, going to take the leap. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Tom Mittler for those who don't.
recognize Sarah's husband. I, I'm her other half that's usually pretty silent. So, <laughs> but I think it was the first time that we invited Father to our home, and I, in, I asked uh, Sarah about, well, what, how about how many people you know, are we expecting? So I need to know if I got to cut the grass or not. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, she says, oh, I think, I think I invited 15 or 20. I thought, oh, all right, well, then we're good. Well, as, as Father came, I thought he brought an entourage because 15 and 20, people began knocking on the door. I hear Father Rookie is here. He's here. You mind if we just say the rosary? We won't, we won't stay. Oh, okay, who are you? So, you know, we had 72 people. And I think I knew 20. Now, about one of the beautiful things, I tell that story a lot to people at work, but we had food for 25, but everyone ate. <laughs> and we had left over, so I mean, it was the loaves and fishes. But, you know, this, this story kind of really touched my heart. There was, um, a, there was a, um, a young child who came to her, whose parents brought her to the house who had, uh, and I hope I'm getting this right, but I know she, she had a, a cancerous tumor. She was to go in that Monday for um, radiation. And she was blessed at her home and she went in that Monday and they were doing an x-ray to, to guess to pinpoint the site. I hope I'm just saying this right. And when they did the x-ray, there was nothing there to radiate. So wow. I just praise God and praise wow. the He performs the terrific things for kiddies all the time. Okay. Uh, he's great. He just loves those children. Mm -hmm. So all the apostles let the little ones come unto me. Such is the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Amen. Do we have any baby stories?